is a scene from Love. Um, this is Paul Rust. He's extremely What's unattractive. No. And she's beautiful, but very hostile. It's you like Twix. So I got a some Sour Patch Kids. And got one of these kind of weird ice cream sandwich things. Why do you have so many snacks? Like a fifth grade class invite you over for their slumber party? She's very hostile. No, I guess. Some steep my feelings. It's too many feelings, dude. Mm. And why would you want to be in a car with such a horrible kid? Okay, so now she's doing him a favor. Okay. And the question is when we watch extremely unattractive men, I mean, he's like so ugly. I'm sorry to say, but then. Alrighty, cool. So, um,. You want to talk about this stuff? It's okay for um, for a man to be ugly, but you'll never see an ugly girl being courted uh, by beautiful, handsome men. Well, with one exception. Uh, the crazy ex-girlfriend, she had these gorgeous guys all over her, and she's not, like, good-looking. She's supposed to be intelligent and a successful lawyer, but she also has base, like major mental problems. But... That's an exception to the rule. Usually you have these beautiful women and an ugly guy can get her. And he's not even like successful in any way or intelligent or witty. He just has a lot of problems. But then he says, you want to talk about the stuff you were telling me? And that I think here I have to say, you know what, guy? Here you've earned your keep. I certainly think that here he acts like the nice guy he was supposed to be, but she's so hostile and she's so unpleasant that if she wasn't so beautiful, he wouldn't even speak to her because in this show called Love, you only see him with beautiful women. And it's okay to be unattractive, but then why do you always seek attractive women? So Woody Allen is very unattractive, but he's also has a great, a great sense of humor. And I think he smart like he knows a lot about music and poetry and art I have learned a lot from when I was younger watching Woody Allen movies when I was like a young woman I learned a lot about jazz poetry all kinds of things that I haven't I wouldn't have encountered otherwise even though I have a good education and him you're know, like what do you learn from him he's like a goofball and he's oh, the woman in the show are gorgeous and the women he has um, relations with are all gorgeous and he looks really really unattractive and again like people think he's Jewish because he has a huge nose and big ears so look this is what a person from Germanic descent looks like he's very neurotic but he's also very he really wants to help her but look at her reaction what stuff she was okay. just like what you're going through, you know. She was just telling him she was an yeah, addict. Addict and everything. Like and look at her I face. Know, I feel like I told you what I wanted to say. I thought you wanted to tell me something. Very shut down. No, I just yeah. I mean, I guess I just figured since this is called lockdown. I kissed you like right after you told me. I didn't really give you an opportunity to unpack it. So just letting you know, uh, I'm here to listen. What are you doing? Are you hitting on me? Don't. Oh. I don't know what you expect. I don't want to have sex. Yeah, I, I don't want to have sex either. I guess I just... So you don't want to talk about this? I told you that I wanted to be alone. What else is there to say? Right. So, she's very confusing. She's going after him. She's watching him on his Instagram account where he shows he's going to the supermarket. He shows an empty fridge, and he's go and she goes to the supermarket that they met at, the, where they both shop, and she's hunting him down, and she's just telling him that she's apologizing, and now she's just like blowing him off. I think it's really, she's very emotionally unstable, uh, nightmare, and just because she's good looking, she gets a lot of points 
for that. I think if she was not as attractive, he wouldn't even think twice. Because what is, what is attractive in this girl? She's very unfriendly. She has horrible mood swings, and she everything revolves around her. She comes to his workplace and screams at him. She's just, they have nothing in common. She's very hostile, very negative, very mean to everybody. So, yeah, I just really wonder what keeps men around women like that. It's just really weird. Sorry, I don't mean to be a bitch. I just, I just want this day to be over. I want to put on my house pants. Okay, well, I'll get out of here then. You know, just call an Uber to pick me up. So she chased him, and now she's just like, tells and invited him in, and now she just like, go. Okay. So this kind of um, behavior attracts men that have been treated badly, or she has a roommate that she's always like also being abusive to. She's very, um, she can't stand to see how anyone else has fun. She's really not a very nice person. And why does, would anybody want to be with her? Just because of her good looks. The other guy, he gets the girls, but he's extremely, extremely unattractive. So this whole thing is like, I think, I'm curious to see how it will turn out. But I look at that type and I think there's so many women like her. So many women think that she can get by on good looks and it allows her to be, treat people badly, to be abusive. And she doesn't realize it, that she gets away with it. And actually her good looks are a problem because good looking people sometimes get away with abusive behavior because of their good looks. And on the other hand, the unattractive man also doesn't have any redeeming qualities. He's trying to be nice to her, but he can't even he can't even be faithful to her. He's like they just got together and then he immediately is with somebody else, intimate with somebody else. So I think it shows he has a very weak character. So it doesn't matter really how what he looks like. Uh, maybe he gets pity points that way, but it's just if somebody is just unable to be faithful and so childish that he can't even can't even maintain a relationship with a woman with honesty and just go somewhere deeper. With a man like that, you can't get deeper because he's just shallow and eats candy and he's childish and he thinks it's so cute. So he's so used to getting women by his witty comments, but actually he's not that funny. He's not that intelligent. He's, and his lack of physical attraction is not compensated by his behavior. So this is what I have to say about this TV series. It's already finished the first season. It was very disappointing. She irritates the hell out of me. She's abusive. She treats men terribly. The men she's with are all unattractive and nasty. One of them has like alcoholism as well or whatever. And she's going to, um, she's going to AA meetings and, and then she lies and she just has a shitty personality. The people she dates have shitty personality. The guy that produces this show also plays a guy with not a very evolved personality. So when you watch these things, you're just like, oh, you know, you don't have a very nice view of the world and people. You don't realize that there are people that are not like that. And she's supposed to be like 32 years old, and yet she's so immature. I got married at that age, had a baby. Um, and took care of my baby, who oh, has a birthday today, by the way. And it's just, you wonder how this woman just thinks only like a goldfish, we say, like her memories, like she can only live the moment. She cannot live beyond impulsive behaviors. And she doesn't realize she really needs to go into therapy, get help for this behavior. And as for him, he also needs to go to therapy to know how to monitor his behavior because he also, what they have in common is they're both act like five-year-olds they just can't think beyond the minute and everything is game and fun and play and but at least he's trying to be nice and she doesn't even make the effort and she's openly abusive and it's irritating to see people like that and when i see that takes place in la 
I'm wondering how much the location has to do with the with the behavior of the people.